Mother Veronica of the Passion, founder of the Apostolic Carmel. Henry Daniel and Marina Halton, a loving couple, were the parents of Sophie, later named Mother Veronica, the founder of the Apostolic Carmel. Henry Marina, along with their first child, shifted to Constantinople. On 1st October 1823, their second child, Sophie, was born. When Sophie was five, she used to attend sewing classes conducted by her mother. It was then she learned about charity and helping the poor. Since the money they saved from sewing was given to the poor for their needs. In 1828, when the family shifted to the beautiful island of Corfu, Sophie and her sister had lessons at home. It was here that the Catholic Maltese maid, Teresa, taught Sophie about guardian angel and blessed mother of God. This was perhaps the beginning of Sophie's deep love for Virgin Mary. Sophie had grown into a charming young woman and moved among a large circle of friends. She and her sister frequently visited the church built by their father to spend long hours in prayer. It was early in the morning. No one in the house had risen when Sophie heard a soft voice in her sleep saying to her, My peace I leave you. My peace I give you. It filled her with a deep sense of joy for days together. The death of Sophie's father snapped the strongest bond that held the family together. Meanwhile, Sophie met a dashing young naval officer and soon they were engaged to get married. Sophie continued praying in the church for long hours. It was then when she realized that she was meant to serve the mankind. Therefore, she decided to break her marriage and wrote a letter to her fiancé informing him about her desire of becoming a nun. When Sophie and her sister Marianne decided to dedicate their lives to God, they began to visit the Catholic Cathedral and join sewing classes conducted by Catholic lady. There they met Father Giliani, who helped them to meet Father Seagrave. Under his direction, they continued their search for the truth. Meanwhile, when Henry, Sophie's elder brother, was ill in Eubea and her mother had to go to nurse him, Divine Providence opened a new road for them. They were sent as boarders to the convent of the sisters of Saint Joseph of the Apparition. The attraction Sophie and Marian had left towards the religious life now deepened in the atmosphere of the convent. On 19th of March 1851, Sophie and Marian were received as postulants in the convent of Cyrus. On the Feast of Exaltation of the Cross, Sophie and Marian were given the religious dress of the congregation, 
Sophie and Marion now desired to become nuns. Sophie was now called Sister Veronica. Sister Veronica was asked to found a house of the congregation at Calicut, India on the Malabar coast. She submitted gladly to this urgent call of the mission where souls were waiting for her. After weeks of sailing, they reached Calicut. Getting out of the boat, Sister Veronica knelt and kissed the soil of the land she had come to serve. The land evangelized by St. Thomas and St. Francis Xavier. The convent and school of St. Joseph's at Calicut progressed rapidly under the guidance of Mother Veronica, as she was now called. Mother Veronica felt an inner call for Kamu. Father Maria Ephraim suggested that Mother Veronica should begin a Kamal for the mission. Mother Veronica, who served the poor and needy in Rangoon, left for London for her treatment after breaking her ankle. After her treatment, Mother Veronica joined Kamal at Paw. Soon, Mother Veronica set out her foot to found the Apostolic Carmel Congregation. The Apostolic Carmel was founded at Bayonne on 16th of July, 1868. Mother Veronica sent three of her sisters along with six cloistered Carmelites, including Mother Elias, Sister Mary des Ange, and Sister Mary of St. Joseph to India. Mother Veronica returned to Carmel of Po. In May 1891, Mother Veronica met Mother Elias, who gave her the joyous news of the success of the Apostolic Carmel in India. Mother Veronica died on 16th November 1906 at the age of 83.